What up guys, Jason from Flow Packs. Just gonna make a quick video, I'll show you how I maintain my motors. I speed run, I drag race. About every two runs, I take my motors apart, I clean them up. Um, that's for speed running, drag racing, you know, maybe five, 10 times, whatever. It's up to you. I like my equipment to be like new. Um, I also like to refresh my bearings too. Either buy new ones, you can buy them at Avid Bearings, Eddie's. I think they're like a dollar or two a piece. Um, get metal. You don't want rubber sided because they will fall apart at the R RPM. So, metal bearings. Easy way to get them out is uh, take the end caps off, find a socket like this one curves in, that fits in there perfect. Just smack it a couple times with a hammer. If you plan on replacing them, then no big deal. If you're not, then just tap it easy and they will come out. These I'm replacing, so I'll get it out of there. Hard to do holding that. Dang, it's going to fall out. But anyways, they will pop out of there. Um, I just did these two right here. It's hard to do without two hands holding that thing. But pop them out. If you're going to refresh them up, what I like to do, goof off. Get a little tiny cup full of this, throw them in the goof off for 30 minutes. It'll get any grease, anything out of there. Now, when you're done, you're going to want to put a good lubricant in there. Um, a lot of racers I talked to said they use synthetic motor oil. Uh, 5 weight 30, 10 weight 30, as long as it's synthetic. Uh, I haven't personally gone straight to like slime or or slime or whatever it is and uh, uh, shag oil straight from nothing in the bearing I always like to put some grease in there for first but um, freshen them up like that as far as the motor it starts getting dirty and uh, like I said I do mine every two or three runs and right now that's what came out of this motor after just three runs it does have the open end cap so Pretty easy though, you take it, pull it upside down, like that. WD-40 electrical cleaner is awesome. I love this stuff. I was using some other stuff, but this stuff works just as good and you can find it at Home Depot everywhere. So spray the inside of the motor out real good. Get inside the back of the motor everywhere. Spray it off real good. And you're gonna come over to your air compressor here I get it. Uh, you're gonna just spray it out real good now look if you don't have an air compressor see look at that that just came out if you don't have an air compressor I've used a um, computer cleaner the stuff that comes in the can just don't hold it upside down hold it straight up and It'll blow out everything in there, but that's how I do it. I like to get it nice and clean, and you can do it either way. Spray it out from either way. You just want to get it all out so it gets all the dirt out. But my motors are going to be some of the cleanest. See, now there's nothing coming out. That's what originally came out. Well, originally... It was that and then it came down to that now it's clean so I'm gonna put it all back together and then uh, should be good to go I believe when you send your motors back to Cordova all they do is change out the motor or the bearings clean it out like I just did and make sure everything's up to par and send it back out I doubt that they're gonna rewind it and everything for you they're just gonna check it all which is a great service to have but if you can do it yourself, or if you want to do it yourself, go for it. If you are going to be replacing the bearings, sometimes they put a little bit of glue, like TP likes to do that. So when they go back in, it's hard. Take a little bit of sanding paper and just sand off the glue. You'll be perfect. Slap it back together, and your motor will be like new. So, thanks, guys. Um, also, this WD-40 stuff, your ESCs, take the top cover off, clean it off real good, let it dry out, air spray it, and it'll be like new. So... Take care, be safe, 
God bless.